Hey there, let's grab a cup of coffee to let some steam off. I'm in my last phase of graduating fashion school. Today I decided to check out this store with two of my friends. One of my friends needed some fabric, and this place has that stock fabric. You can see that there is a lot. Overall it's quite messy, but you can find some hidden gems for sure. Strolling down the streets of Amsterdam while heading to our next destination. These flowers are my favorites to see in the street. We're going to grab some lunch at Anam. Look who it is! It's King the Chihuahua! One of my best friends is over for the weekend. Her little cute dog joined us for the fun. We grabbed some food at this cute place. Today I'm helping out my friend from Amfi. We met in our first year of fashion design. In the end I switched to management, but she stayed. I also shot these photographs for her graduation shoot. Got some food after the shoot. This little Korean place has such good food, I definitely recommend. Taking the train to head to a workshop. After that, I'm planning to visit my parents' house. The scenery is always very peaceful during summer. Working on some random Photoshop experiments while taking the train. Arrived at the workshop. It's nice to combine the workshop and being able to hang out with family on the same day. During my gap year from school, it's the one thing that kept my creative flow going. Since I joined school again to graduate, I can only go so often when my schedule allows it. Today I'm working on some stained glass. I'm making a little square. I'm making this to practice the technique and see if I enjoy it. Here you can see me cutting the lead for the glass. It's important to cut it precisely. I work in a frame so I can work more securely and precise. I'm probably not working in a perfect way since I'm also still learning. Here are some process shots of me working. It's still a work in progress, but well enjoyed work. An overview of how far I've worked on it. Back in my parents' house and the flowers are blooming. Look who came over to visit, my little friend King the Chihuahua. The little pup seems sleepy. Taking the sunshine in and working on some schoolwork. Frying up the bananas for dinner, it's very satisfying to see them fry. Dinner is served. Back in Amsterdam, I picked up some satay at the market. Hang out with my friend Julie today. I just couldn't resist filming her cute bike. I thought it was funny since it fits her character so well. After, I went to pick up some paper at the Vlieger. It's my to-go store to get paper at. I'm planning to do some reset printing soon, so I will need some nice paper for the prints. I do some illustration on the side and enjoy to do some reset prints once in a while. In this way, I'm able to see my creative side coming to life. Today, I'm going to reset print. This is a printing technique that is available with the Riso printer. It's important to dry your prints in a rack, otherwise they will get mushed and faded when you leave them on top of each other. 
You can only print with two colors in the reset printer. The ink is displayed in a big drum, such as the one in this white box. This is how the screen setup looks for the printer. Here you can choose the colors that you want to print with. It's important to choose the ones you put in the printer. You can also choose which size you are going to print. If you only print with one color, you have to choose the option Mono Color Print. When you have double checked everything, it's time to press the OK button. After that, you can press the print button. Click proceed to send your work to the printer. You will have to make the master in the printer settings. This might take a minute or so. Always make a few test prints, as after a few test prints, the ink will get deeper. A reso print is never exactly the same. That's why it is cheaper from a normal inkjet printer. Done for today and letting the prints dry. I hope to set up a webshop one day and sell my posters. It's time to put my posters in a frame. I love putting my posters in a frame because it really gives the art not only life, but also a home. Fun fact, this is actually my old student home since I recently moved out of the apartment. Since I was so busy with school, I never got to edit this vlog. I finally have time to edit the vlog and it was fun because I was able to relive old memories. You can see the little smudge on the corner. This is what I meant with not drying the print properly. Honestly, sometimes it's inevitable. Reset can be tricky, but in the end, it's worth it. I decided to go for the green and brown posters. I'm going to use these Tesa wall plugs to hang up the frames with. Here you can see the final result of the frames that I placed on my wall. Thanks for tuning in and watching. What is your creative outlet?